Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ms. Nawudu D I V A A. Divine inspired by the anointed artist. I am drinking some cool mocha. So that might keep coming up in this uh, picture. Listen. As some people are being pulled down right now because some people are being elevated by God. Daniel 2:21 as it is a season for the turnaround um, and for the last to be first and for the first to be last, those who are being pulled down, those who are being made last that have been first for a long time, I hear the Lord saying, this is your opportunity to make things right. It's not, a, it's not an opportunity from God to humiliate you. It is a trumpet call to warn you that you have been to the mountain top and forgot about God and God is calling you back to himself and he says you cannot keep going without me come near to me draw near to me and I will draw near to you I hear the Lord say as you are being pulled down as you are being made last in this season of the underdogs being pulled up, being promoted, being elevated, um, the underdogs being made first, those who were last being made first. I hear the Lord say, as he's doing this, come to him, draw near to him, and he will draw near to you. Get into your Bible. Start reading the Bible. Start praying the word. Start learning about different subjects, subjects that concern how you will find victory in the next season where it is again your turn to come up. And it's a come up where you will not be forsaking the Lord and making that very same mistake mm -hmm. again. So in this time, it's not to humiliate you. It's In this time, it's not to um, undermine you. It is a time to get you to reflect and get your priorities in order and get your priorities in line with your values your values always uh, mirror your priorities your priorities always tell what your values are and if you are the kind of person who became successful and then you were not really going to church anymore if that was your thing if you were not really reading the bible you were not really talking to god anymore that means that your priority is not god and that your value is not god you cannot afford it you cannot afford for your priority to not be god you cannot afford for god to not be a vital necessity in your life the world is not getting more holier it's getting more wicked the holiness of god is greater than the wickedness of satan no amount of wickedness can super and, and, and super abound and surpass and swallow up holiness. Absolutely not possible. The war has been won on the cross at Calvary. It can never change. Uh, but as I say this to you, God is just letting me know that do not look upon those who are being elevated and think, why them and not me? Pay attention to where you went wrong. And he's saying where they went wrong is that they came into riches and into wealth. They came into that threefold piece of prosperity, stability, and security, and they forgot about me. Deuteronomy 11. Um, don't forget about God when you get to your success. Don't forget about God when you get to riches and wealth and stability and it's in this time that you need to take stock and rectify those areas where you forgot about God when you got your breakthrough in previous seasons you cannot afford it you cannot afford to do that and the other thing that God is saying is saying to the underdogs that are now being promoted it is their season to come up and be visible and be elevated and be victorious and triumphant. Watch what these ones who were first that are now going to be last did where their misstep was. 
And their misstep was that they forgot about God once they got up there. Their priorities changed when they got up there. Watch what they did, underdogs, who are now about to shine, who are now walking in the light, who are shining in this season. As we're going to 5783, it's, 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 it's underdog season. What you can learn from those who were first and are now being made last is that you do not forsake God, you do not forsake the word of God, you keep close to God, particularly in your success. The enemy is not coming for an empty vault. That's in Proverbs somewhere. The enemy does not come for an empty vault. So as your vault is about to get full and filled up, as your vault is about to overflow and make you a blessing to many nations, as the breakthrough and the turnaround is here, uh, it's going to attract that steal, kill, and destroy three, threefold agenda of the enemy. So as you are entering this season under dog two, keep declaring life more abundantly in your life and stay close to God. Do not forsake God. That is it that I wanted to share with you today. I will talk to you again next time. Stay blessed and be blessed.